Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel and this is your July reading from Anything Spiritual and before we start um, with the reading I normally shuffle the cards and ask what the month ahead holds for you and out came the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Wands is about new starts, it's about new beginnings, it can be work, it can be creativity. And in that card, you can see something in the background there, I think it's a castle or something. So to me, it's talking about future. Whatever's starting for you is sort of future plans. Okay, and that Queen of Pentacles, well, Pentacles is an Earth sign. Earth sign is about stability. So I do feel that you've got something new coming for you, Sagittarius, and it's bringing you stability. Now, interestingly enough, oh, I'm dropping the cards. I did look back, I did year ahead ones, uh, sort of October, November time, and I looked back to see what your year ahead for 2022 was about. And I said that you was going to have new starts. I said that you was going to have new beginnings. I think it was sort of May, June time. We talked about battles with money and a new start around August. So we're now July and this new start came out at the beginning of the reading when I was preparing for your reading, as I said, and asking what the month holds for you. So I don't know if any of you watched your year ahead, but interestingly enough, that also came up with a new start. So if you did watch it and it's all resonated with you and it's all accurate for you, then let me know in the comments below. If you didn't, then they are still available on my channel to go back and uh, watch for the second half of the year. So let's look what you've got out so far in July. You've got a couple of lovely cards here, Sagittarius. The Lovers, the Sun, and then we've got the Six of Swords, the Five of Cups, Temperance, the Emperor and the Queen of Wands. So you're definitely leaving something behind. You're saying goodbye to something and you're letting something go out of your life, which obviously when we have new starts, that's normally what we do. And we start off, as we say, with the lovers. And when two people come together, because um, that's what it looks like here, two people coming together, some sort of commitment. When people commit, they're normally leaving the past behind because they're normally starting something new. So some of you may be in a new relationship. Some of you may be sort of renewed your relationship and have got a closeness. And for others, it may just be, you know, a new job or some sort of new commitment. But you need to start enjoying life, Sagittarius. It's telling you to have and enjoy yourself this is the sun card enjoy that energy and you can see the child on the horse and you know what a child's energy is like it's endless it's buzzing you know they're full of it and that's how they want you to be this month this card is telling you about going out and enjoying yourself you've had some choppy waters you've had to leave something behind that hasn't served you hasn't been very good for you quite possibly upset you and you don't want it in your life anymore which is why we have these changes why you're now making commitments elsewhere don't keep pondering over what's lost don't keep looking what's lost here with that five of cups you've got changes not a lot of people like changes but i feel you're sort of going through the changes now but you want to concentrate on what you've got sagittarius not what you've left behind. When you leave something behind, you've left it behind for a reason. It didn't serve you, okay? Temperance. That's about balance. That's about tempering down. Things are calming down. Look at the lovely healing and um, rainbow colours coming in there for you, okay? You've possibly got somebody helping you. This could also be to do with dad. This is the emperor card. This is the father figure of the tarot. So something going on around you could be dad, could be somebody of that sort of um, generation, somebody older than you who's helping you. And we've also got the queen of wands here. Now, wands is that fire energy that is you in your power okay and the six of cups again it shows a coming together it shows getting together could be somebody from your past could be friends but there's definite um coming together for you there's definite moving forward there's definite things calming down you're having more fun and it seems to be that you're connecting more with other people or even new people because you've definitely left something behind there. So let's pull a card to clarify this reading. 
let's have a card to clarify what we've said and this one wants to jump out and it's the four of cups and again it shows the four four show stability they show balance she's feeling like something's just not quite right you're still not yourself Sagittarius you're still not 100% this is why you need to go out and enjoy yourself but again look at those rainbow colors coming in there for you you've got them here with the temperance you've got them here you've got that sun telling you enjoy it all these lovely rainbow colors are chakra energy that red there is grounded it's earth and that's what we said was that queen of pentacles in the beginning that the changes you've got coming in your life at the minute the new things that's starting for you are grounding things okay so you need to be grounded you need to be going back to your foundations once you've got your foundation sorted and you're all grounded and, and everything's secured and you know you've got good foundations and you can build whatever you want on top of that Sagittarius and look what card has just flown out for you marriage so for some of you it could be marriage it could be a love commitment but a definite commitment marriage is also a commitment where people are uh, uh, joining in some sort of contract so a definite new start for you could some of you be getting married? Could some of you be agreeing to get married? Could some of you be signing contracts? Some sort of coming together, some sort of contract or commitment there. Well, Sagittarius. Oh, I haven't even asked for a card for you and it's jumped out already. And you've got the two of emotions. And look at that, people uh, kissing in there. So how funny is that? And it says, a relationship grows closer as two people fall in love or a current relationship grows much stronger. Friendships may deepen into a spiritual connection. Mutual respect and understanding exist or will develop. Don't give up on relationships that feel challenging to you. There's still hope. So while wow, this seems to be the message all through your reading, Sagittarius, that relationship is getting together, there's a commitment, something is deepening, something is growing, even into a spiritual connection. So lovely message for you. We are going to pull some loving relationship cards because we already do, but I do feel for, for a lot of you out there, this is quite possibly love. Okay, so for some of you it could be work relationship, but let's have a look at some love and relationship cards and see what they've got to say to you. I'm going to pull that one. And that one. Children, your love life is being affected by children. And the second one, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher commitment, so you know we've already had the lovers the marriage card engagement what more do you want Sagittarius engagement marriage love we've got it all here in your reading but also there's something to do with children going on around you right now could be these changes could some of you be leaving a relationship where there's children involved and starting a new one who knows but there's lots of things going on with you right now a definite coming together a definite commitment a definite new things for some of you things going on around children in your relationships but you know, try and enjoy your life, Sagittarius. You're moving forward. You're making commitments. You're making connections. They could be friend relationships. They could be work relationships. It'll be different for all of you. But enjoy. Remember, look in my um, description below for my sister's channel, Mine's on Inspiration. She also releases monthly videos. Don't forget those year ahead ones are still out there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.